A bus to Canto? Uh, 10 o'clock. Oh, you don't have an 8? Yeah. Um, cool. Oh, it's full. Oh, shit. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. okay, come on. Sin Cha, my friends. Welcome back to Travel with Chris. So a lot of people, when they come to Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City, they want to get away from the big city, the hustle and bustle, and there are a few options. Most of them head to Vung Tao, which is the nearest beach city here. But there's another place, which is about three and a half to four hours away. It's called Gan Do. It's in the beautiful and precious Mekong Delta. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the process on how to get from Saigon to Gan Do. I'm currently in a cab right now, and I'm headed to the bus station. I have not booked any tickets, I just looked at the timetable and basically you can just arrive and pay the ticket which is 150000 and get on a sleeping bus. So we're going to be experiencing and showing you how a sleeping bus looks and feels. Let's go! This will be the first time that I actually do this because there are websites where you can book ahead. I just didn't do that because of the coronavirus situation and also sometimes I don't know if, if I can get there on time or if I'm gonna miss the bus. So the bus leaves at 8 and it's 7.54 now. I think I'm pretty close to the place but I don't know. I think I'm running really, really short here. Come on. Okay, so there's Canto right there. We'll see if we're not too late. Time to go in. Sin Chao, a bus to Canto? Uh, 10 o'clock. I'm sorry? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Oh, you don't have an 8? Yeah. Um, cool. Oh, it's full. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Is there another another bus? Do you know? Uh, Over there? No, please. Okay, thank you. Canto? Yes. Yes? Oh, excellent. Thank you. Yo, 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 yo. Okay. At 8. Perfect. Uh, here you go. We made it, guys. It's possible. Thank you. Okay, okay come on. Canto? Okay, come on. Canto? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, come on. trooper running late but making it just on time let me show you how the bus looks dude so as you can see it was very narrow to get through there look at all the shit that i have too i have this bag this bag and my skateboard damn um, but yeah so this is the bus it's pretty cool little like space right here <laughs> laying down bro have a little nap a little have a little rest and I'm uh, very comfy dude I gotta say and it's aircon in here so what else you want bro who would have thought man dude I've went I've been on a lot of um, long distance buses in my life in various countries and
in Vietnam has to be the most comfortable. The most comfortable of all, which blows my mind. Especially for the price of 150000 for a four hour bus ride. What the fuck, dude? Also, very bizarre. I didn't have anything booked and they didn't even ask me for my vaccines or my PCR test or nothing. They just said, get on the bus, my boy, and let's go to Contao, to Kando. Sorry, keep on confusing those. Uh, but yeah, it's great. So traveling around Vietnam now, it's pretty simple. I'm guessing it's about the same if you decide to go to any other city. But let me give you a little bit more of a detailed tour of the bus. So here we have our nice cup holder. You can have your meal here. Um, we got some stairs for you to go to the upstairs bunk. We also have some nice aircon here. Ooh, bro, that's blasting nice and cool. We have this here. If you want to have a nap, you can close your blind. Kabam. You know, have some privacy. I found out something today that's really cool. You can actually like lean the chair back and lean the chair forward just by using this little hatch right here. Little tip if you didn't know. Oh, dude, I made a crazy discovery actually. These buses have TVs in them as well. Um, there's a big TV at the front, and then here in the aisles, I found these TVs. I've never seen them actually use it, but maybe when it's longer rides, they'll play movies and stuff, which will be great because I can't speak any Vietnamese, so I won't understand shit. But hey, some visuals. After two and a half hours, we did make a quick stop here um, where you can use the restroom. It's a little shop, but you can get some drinks, get some food, stretch your legs. Uh, let me show you this cool shop though. A little bit of everything, a little bit of nothing. Um, interesting stuff. But yeah, it's cool. I, I knew that they were gonna stop. I had a feeling because, you know, I think the bus driver has to pee, have a rest. Uh, Cause these guys, man, they drive crazy. Let me tell you, dude, a few times I thought we were gonna crash. Cause man, they're focused and they're just fucking going all out. Uh, but I don't know how many accidents there are here in Vietnam with these buses. But every time I'm on the bus, uh, when I travel from one city to another, I'm always like shit in my pants because we're always really close to crashing. All right, so I think we only have about an hour and a half left of our journey and we should be at our destination. Oh shit, the bus. Oh, nah, just kidding. It's right there. We're all good. We're all good. The bus is still here, guys. Coffee. Well, listen guys, I am really, really excited to get out of Saigon, go to a new place that I've never been before. This is what I travel for, this is what I love to do, um, and it's my favorite and most awesome feeling, landing to a new place that I have no clue about, I don't know what to expect, and learning new things and new cultures. So, there are going to be a lot of awesome videos coming up, stay tuned, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you in